On the Health Watch, it's about this time we start talking about flu shots, but many adults are missing out on another key vaccine, the pneumonia vaccine. It's actually recommended for all adults with asthma. A new study finds that only 42% of people aged 18 to 64 who have asthma are actually getting the shot. Dr. Malika Marshall is here, and I'm sure a lot of people have heard of the vaccine, right? Had you heard of it? I think so. Not really. No. Nope. <laughs> so it's, it's technically called the pneumococcal vaccine, and it is a vaccine that we give to children, and we give it to the elderly, and we give it to people with chronic illnesses because it can help prevent a common type of pneumonia, which can be dangerous for certain people. And we... I don't know why a lot of people with asthma aren't getting it. I don't know if they haven't heard of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if their doctors aren't mentioning it to them. But some speculate that a lot of people aren't getting it because they don't have insurance and can't necessarily afford it. So if you have asthma, please talk to your doctor about get getting it. It's given as a single injection, and it really can cut down on some serious infections. Yeah, a lot of people don't get the care they need because they can't afford it. Right. Beer lovers will tell you that a cold brew can lift your spirits, so it's no surprise that researchers in Germany, the home of Oktoberfest, may have found out why. They looked at 13,000 molecules present in different foods and found a substance in beer can mimic dopamine, the so-called feel-good hormone. So, Dr. Beer really can boost your mood. Possibly. Do you know Oktoberfest is already underway in Germany? It's been underway and it's not even for a while. October. <laughs> it's not even October, which I find fascinating. But anyway, have you ever found yourself eating purely for pleasure and not because you're hungry? Of yes, you have. all the time. Right, and it's because it's probably stimulating what's called your reward center mm -hmm. in your brain where these dopamine receptors are located. And they, using a computer program, discovered that there's this substance called Hordnine that fits the dopamine receptor. It's found in beer. So the question now is whether beer has enough of this Hordnine to actually make a difference and to stimulate the reward system. Um, so we have to do more research to see if that's the case. In the meantime... I know beer makes some people feel good, but too much of it can make you feel yeah. really, really sick. So you just have to be careful. The researchers heard you say they have to do more research, and they're like, yes, let's do it <laughs> right now. Lisa, over to you. Here's to Horton.